So many cool little art pieces for the Noble Otter Soap Company. I had to put a few of them on the screen for you right now as we dive into the dinosaur. Welcome to the Nomadic Ink Channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with... Cuddles is taking a nap right now, but might join us later on in the video. Today we are taking a look at the Artisan Shave Soap and Aftershave. This is RAR from Noble Otter. Rawr. In these soap reviews, we do a few things. Do an up-close look at the label, product itself, dive into information, scent notes, lather the soap, and give our opinion at the end. If you're ready, we're ready. Grab your shave bowl, and let's enjoy the show. Take a look at this label, it's fairly simple with some gold and some green around the outside and a little otter dressed up as a dinosaur. I thought it was pretty cool, that's one of the reasons why I bought this particular soap. Now the soap itself is fairly clean and crisp looking, you do get a nice aroma from it as you open up the container. We have taken a few scoops out of this already because we tried to make this video before and it didn't work. The soap is kind of hard but you can press your finger in it which we will scoop that part out and throw it in the bowl getting it ready for the lather station. I am going to bloom the soap up so we're going to put some warm water on it and let it sit up for 5 or 10 minutes. Now the aftershave has got the same label on it, it looks pretty clean and crisp and we do have a reducer on the top. The natural ingredients that are in this soap are going to be your beef tallow, your coconut milk and we have a castor coconut avocado oil. They do have butters of mango seed and cucumber along with a few other extract like a watermelon and white willow bark. Now the scent profile for this will be a bergamot with sweet orange, vanilla, dandelions. They also have an atlas cedar wood, an aroli, and a little bit of musk. The aftershave is going to be a mixture of alcohol, menthol, witch hazel, and some aloe, along with a few other extracts. We'll dive into a little bit of backstory as the soap maker made his way home from work. Two of the older boys would hide out and try to scare him with the RAR that quickly became a little tradition of theirs. Now when he made this soap, he thought of all the things that they love, like dinosaurs, oranges, and dandelions. RAR is going to be for all the fathers out there that wake up every day and strive to be the best they can be. The soap's all bloomed up, so we're going to drain out the water. It has left the soap looking kind of porous, but that's not bad. Now I start off with the brush just dry and we have to wetten it up, it just did not work. Most shaved soaps lather up fairly well in the bowl that I have. If I'm not lazy, I will link it down in the description below. We're going to take out what we have in this bowl and see what we got left on the brush. We're left with a nice puff of lather. We're going to use this and we'll come back to you with our opinions at the desk. Let me know what you guys thought of this in the comments below. Welcome back from that up close look at the label, product, info. We're going to be sniffing this right now and just telling you our opinions. I obviously have used that soap and it feels pretty good on the face. I smell too different after you put it on yesterday. It smells more like musky and actual scents like this after use. It's more like many when you put after you put it on. I think this is what's coming through for you there is the uh, aftershave. It's like almost cologne-esque. Does it smell a little brighter? I mean, there's a lot of alcohol scents there, but I put some on my face. Can you smell me? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a good tone to it. So what are you thinking about this scent? Like it's not feminine at all, but it's definitely a lighter, more mild. Yeah, the shave first soap. time I smell it, it just smells like a teenager, like sweet, you know, it's not like it's not like a manny smell for me. But it smells really good. And uh, after you put it on it's kind of manny, so it so depending on the person maybe. I like the label. That's one of the reasons why I bought this. Childish label? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a cool little rar character, you know, little dinosaur and stuff. And uh, you know, same on the bottle. And you can see when you're shaking this, I mean it has a good little thickness to the um, whatever. Juice. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, this is this is one of the lighter scents, but I actually am growing to like this quite a bit. Where do you rate this among some of the other ones that we've smelled? Is this like up there for you or is this like not as good as some other ones we've uh, reviewed on the channel so far? There is a few, uh, two other one I like better than this. Okay. It's nice. It's like, um, I don't know, it's playful. It's yeah, good. playful, decent, happy smells. Uh, let me know if you guys have tried Noble Otter, if you like RAR, what's your favorite scent from there, and maybe what scents or artisans we should check out. You like, you share, you subscribe, you already know how YouTube works. Cuddle says thanks for watching, leave a like for the bird of course, and uh, Peace.